This video shows a new case-based reasoning approach named QCBR that uses a qualitative spatial reasoning theory to model, retrieve and reuse cases by means of spatial relations. We've run the experiment in the robot soccer domain following the rules of RoboCup Federation Humanoid League. Since 2014, our team competes in the RoboCup and Latin American Robotics competition and we have used only a reactive behavior where the robot walks to the ball, aligns and kicks. Now, instead of using a metric approach to represent the distance between the robot and the ball or other robots, we have modeled the domain using EOPRA. The orientation and distance between the robot and the object are represented with respect to the intrinsic direction of the robot. So, the qualitative orientation is composed of eight regions, named left, right, front, back, left front, right front, left back, and right back. And the qualitative distance is composed of six regions, named at, very close, close, far, very far, and farthest. As we can see here, the robot is able to recognize and track the ball using hard algorithm and it shows the qualitative distance and orientation of it. And by using color segmentation, the robot is able to recognize the qualitative teammate position and the qualitative opponent position. In the CBR system, we have defined a case as a problem description and a solution description, where the problem description corresponds to the qualitative spatial relations between the robot and the object in the environment given by the qualitative orientation and distance of each object from the robot's point of view. And the solution description is composed of a sequence of actions each robot must perform to solve the problem. In the retrieval step, we use the distance between the object's relations in the conceptual neighborhood diagram to compute the similarity between the new problem and the cases in the case base and we retrieve the most similar case or the case with the lowest adaptation cost. After the case retrieval, the reuse step consists of adapting the position of the robot in the problem to its qualitative position in the retrieved case, where B1 needs to infer the qualitative orientation and distance of B2. In this example, B1 retrieves a case where B2 is positioned on the right and very far from B1. The agent B1 needs to infer and share, from the point of view of agent B2, which adapted position it has to move. This is, B2 should walk to its left and very close. We've performed the experiment in the simulator and with real robots, and in both experiments we have used the same code and the same case base. Here, B1 is the coordinator. It retrieves a case and shares to B2 its adapted position. B1 walks to the ball while B2 walks to an adapted position. Robot B1 kicks the ball to B2 that it gets and performs the action. In the experiments with real robots, we have changed the robot's position. B1 is the coordinator and walks to the ball while B2 waits to receive its adapted position. B1 retrieves a case, performs the action and shares wireless, the adapted position the robot B2 should move and the action it must perform. Robot 2 walks to its adapted position, gets the ball and performs the action.